Hi there, my name's Sam, and we're going to jump back in here into Veronaville today. We're going to finish up our our time with the uh, Cap household. I feel like it's weird in Veronaville saying like the Cap household or the Monty household because there's there's like a ton of each. <laughs> there's so many different ones of the same name. Um, everybody just woke up this morning. Uh, there's a there was a thunderstorm. I guess it's still going on, and our tree is on fire, but I think it's going away. <laughs> so there's that. Everybody's getting ready to um, go off to school here. If if Gun if uh, Albany isn't keeping them hostage in the bedroom, can you guys? There we go. He's like trying to make the beds. Y'all. Oh wait, who's this? Who's whose car is? Oh, that's your car, dude. Go to work. Get out of here. The baby is not happy. Oh, the uh, nanny's here, which is oh, that's what I gotta do. I gotta unhire and rehire the nanny because I do in fact have the mod that is supposed to hire a teen. Oh wait, duh, I gotta click on the nanny. I was confused when this nanny showed up. Um, end services? Because I do have a mod that's supposed to replace the nanny with a with a better um, a better option. Like there's a teen that does it and they're act they act a little bit better than like default nannies, but this seems like it's the default nanny, so yeah, just give him his food, whatever. He doesn't want it. There we go. Can we um, change Julius's diaper? Oh, oh, okay. I guess we're not changing Julius's diaper. Because there was a child being born. <laughs> this is what this household needs. Okay, at least it's not two. I'm still traumatized from the Ophelia and Johnny twins. I'm afraid every time. Anyway, cap, doesn't matter. Okay, looks like it's a baby girl. So what I've decided I would like to do is go on a, uh, we're gonna go on a field trip to the internet. There we are. So we're gonna find us a name here. I have a Shakespearean name generator. This is a, a I highly recommend checking out this site for, um, if you like naming Sims coming up, if you play The Sims, obviously anybody who plays The Sims like naming The Sims, duh. But it has tons of names and they're not all just fantasy names. They're all like, some of them are real names of different origins and everything. So definitely suggest checking it out. It's usually where I like to go. Fantasy name generators. Anyway, we have a um, Shakespearean one here. I'm gonna, so we get a girl. So I'm going to generate for female. Maybe I'll just see what comes up on this. Now obviously it's giving us a first and last, which we don't need. We just need a first name. Oh, Desdemona came up. I guess we're in the right place here. I like Katharina. This one's kind of interesting. Cymbeline. Cymbeline. Okay, we're just gonna go with that one. I think that's a good enough one. Little Sim. Little wait, Sim. I might be, I might be pronouncing it wrong though. Let's see. So this one, that one's screaming. Here, come put little Cymbeline in the crib here. And we need to take care of this one. Maybe not even just change diaper. Maybe we need to bathe, bathe the Julius. Well, at least we only had one baby. And based on the way I set up the ACR settings. They shouldn't naturally have another baby, I don't think. Um, so that'll be nice. <laughs> I don't have to worry about that so much. Oh! Okay. <laughs> this is good. Uh, she was trying to pay the bills for me, but then that happened. I was just gonna say this thunder and lightning is really annoying because the flashes are kind of a lot. I don't really like the flashes. Where's this one? Where the heck's the toddler? Oh. She put him away in the crib, but I guess he's uh, off doing his thing. Anyway, oof, her, she's not doing good. She uh, is dealing with the post-lightning uh, problems here. Also, somebody brought a friend home from school. Is this the Cicero guy? Yeah, Bottom brought him home a little while ago. Where did he go? Oh, who's out here? Who's this? Oh, we got two friends from school. This is... <laughs> I don't know if this is ideal. I, I think maybe this is not. I don't know if these kids' parents exactly co-signed this, um, this behavior. Here, come, come shoot hoops. How's about shooting some hoops and inviting your friend over? 
She wants to be friends with this person, so we can do that. We just got all kinds of teens chilling out here. Come here. Let's see if we can get Cicero to join. Ask to join. Also, we have chemistry with Cicero, which is kind of fun. I feel like one of the most iconic teen Sims 2 looks is these little boots with the skirt. I feel like that's, that's a pretty classic look. Although I might have a slightly um, edited version as a default replacement. I'm not sure. Oh, Ariel's grades are improving. Also, the baby's yellow. Why is the... Can you all figure out why your baby's turning yellow? Oh, she also brought her friend home. Oh, it's Gabriella. Okay. We have lots of... We have so many uh, children at our house right now. It's a very full house. Ma'am, what you up to? Buy a car. You know what? Can we fit it? We could probably fit a vehicle spot here. Why don't we do that for her? Why not? I feel like this household would have to have one of these bad boys. Maybe a bright red one. I feel like the, the red works. Uh, Gabriella and Ariel have the same dress on. It was meant to be. Let's play. What are we gonna let's have him play cops and rabbits? I gotta play cops and rabbits. There's so many folks at our house right now. I don't know how we're gonna feed all these kids tonight. I don't know what's going on. Speaking of which, you're hungry. She keeps thinking about a grill. How about you attempt well we're technically it's still lunchtime. I guess we'll wait. Do you wanna do you wanna join? Can we I need you to bond with this human. You you want you seem to want to be friends with this fellow human. I need you to do bonding ceremonies. Come here. <laughs> come, come learn how to be friends with human. What is that workout wear? <laughs> what are you wearing to Simona? I don't know what's happening. I'd rather you just wear a matching leotard with your brother. Gosh dang. Okay, you fed the child. It seems that you have you have nourished the baby. Can we maybe put the kid away so you can take a shower? Let's see if we can get past the cops and robbers game to take a shower here. <laughs> These two are very matchy-matchy. Okay, we're, we're having a traffic jam at the bathroom. Can we not? Yeah, go here. Let it leave. Oh my god, there's a baby. Go here. Holy cow. The child needs to leave. <laughs> this is a little bit. This is a little bit much, y'all. Come here. There you go. OMG. Yes, take a shower. Sure, why not? Oh my gosh, now who's entering? There's too many people in this house right now. Everybody- who's he- Miranda Cap has decided to drop by also. That's their older daughter who's graduated college. I didn't even see her show up. <laughs> Wait, how many sips are this lot right now? We've got- would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then eight, nine, ten, and eleven including Miranda. So there's 11 sims screwing around in this slot right now. We got a bunch of... Did somebody just age up? Is somebody aging up? The baby's aging up. I mean, not the baby. Well, the toddler. I say baby. So the baby, the actual baby was going to be aging up in a day. Hal is going to become a baby. I mean, I... <laughs> this is too much going on. Hal is not becoming a baby. He's going to become an adult in a few days. He's going to go off to college Well, before we're done. Desdemona has the opportunity for college, and then two days until Ariel's a teenager. Okay, let's see what this one looks like as a child. I think it's gonna be quite the show. Where's your shoes, Julius? I think I think he just kind of looks a lot like his mom, mostly. I think. Right. If, I think I feel like Julius is gonna be trouble. This child looks like trouble. Like, he looks like he's looking to cause trouble. Is this your PJs? I'm gonna do a quick little makeover. Let me, let's save before my game implodes from the amount of Sims on this lot right now. There we go. I fixed his every day. The kid's filthy. You know what I realized? I think he reminds me of is... If I can focus on him here. Where did you go, child? Oh my god. I'm bouncing around between Sims here. Can we... Okay. We're, we're crowded. Sir, I need you to leave the bathroom so the child can bathe. Take a shower. He reminds me of that kid a little bit from that kid from Toy Story that like tortures his toys. That's that's the vibes I get from Julius. <laughs> that's what I get from Julius. Okay. Um, who wants to make dinner? You're hungry. What's happening? Relax. You know what? You're not gonna do that right now. You're gonna um serve some spaghetti. I think there's a child. Somebody's screaming. I'm gonna have uh resume making a pothole. I'm gonna have um. Desdemona work on her sewing. 
Okay, this one's screaming. Come, uh, change diaper. You need to not just be cleaning everything. All right, everybody, let's round everybody up for spaghetti. I think most of the friends left. Oh, wait, who's out here? Miranda and C Cicero are out here. Is I don't know if, um, I think Francesca left. I saw that Gabriella left. Oh, wait, no, Francesca's here. She's eating. I was mistaking her for one of the other um, 130 children on this lot. Let's call everyone to meal who hasn't eaten. Okay. <laughs> Miranda's fresh out of um, college, so <laughs> she's got to share her dances. Okay, now why are you in the yellow? Oh, her fun is really low. How about we... Can we watch TV? Oh, we got to repair the television. Can somebody... I don't know, you don't have any mechanical. He's got one, the husband has one bit of mechanical. Okay, Ariel. Ariel, how about you actually sleep in your bed? Oh my gosh, I keep accidentally clicking on the wrong sims. Let's see, you go here. <laughs> I'm, I'm juggling, I'm attempting to juggle these sims the best I can. All right, I'm gonna have you go to bed. Everybody sleep, everybody sleep. Okay, Ariel, that's the opposite of sleeping. <laughs> Come sleep. It's really dark in these rooms. I'm gonna, there's like these, these lamps, but they don't, they don't really work right. There we go, we got a little bit of better lighting in those rooms. Can you sleep? I have to say goodbye to Francisca. You just had dinner, did you not? Just have dinner? Why are you so hungry? Uh oh, everybody ate up the dinner? Oh crap. All right, we're gonna say goodbye to everyone who's on this lot. <laughs> now, uh, Julius gets to sleep in an actual bed. Oops, he still has his learn to walk locked in. That's that's not it. We're gonna lock in make a friend. He needs to make a new friend. Everybody's sleeping. Everybody's headed to bed, finally. And the parents... Oh, you're not asleep. Why is he... He's sleeping in the nude. <laughs> Did these two woohoo? I didn't hear them woohoo. I guess this is a good time to save the game. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, um, Goneril really wants a promotion, so I need to... Focus on that. I think she's going to be getting one soon. Um, she just hasn't been at work. I'm going to have you actually go to sleep because your energy's low. What's going on in here, girls? <laughs> your siblings are trying to sleep. Miranda, you're kind of... kind of. I mean, I like this bonding, this, this sisterly bonding that's happening. I think I'm going to assign this car ownership. I can assign... Um, we're going to assign it to Goneril. So she's gonna be the car owner. Oh, Francisca is still here. I don't know why she's... I don't know what's going on. Oh, okay, we need somebody to wake up. Your energy's good. Come come bathe the child here. Not... well, just change the diaper. We don't need to bathe. It's so dark down here. Oh, these two... these two seems to get along quite well. They're just kind of chilling out talking, which is fun. So I guess today is gonna be the day we're gonna have Hal go off. Well, he has three days. I don't know. Whenever whenever the season is just about to turn over is probably when he'll go. She needs to be at work. Oh, that's right. I gotta rehire the nanny. Oh, she's leaving. Okay. He, oh, crap. He's leaving too. Buddy, you can't go yet. Oh, wait. Wait. Well, yeah, I guess she's gonna leave. Is she leaving through her, her van? Yes, she is. Okay, we can have him call a service. We'll call for a nanny real quick. Oh, he wants a promotion too. I guess I'll lock that in. Oh, thank you for taking out the trash, Julius. <laughs> I guess you're not, not as much of a little creep as we thought you were. Maybe he's just trying to get on everybody's good side. Um, nanny. Um, tracks good. Okay, now it's showing a teen as the picture, so it seems like the mod has taken over that's supposed to be here. You have nothing. 7 a.m. Yeah, okay. Are you going to show up now? Okay, the nanny's technically here, so we can leave. Or babysitter, rather. Galleon. Hello, Galleon, the babysitter. Welcome. Oop. Okay, I guess Desdemona have... Desdemona and Hal are back. Uh oh, their grades are slipping. That's right, I didn't have them do their homework because there were so many kids hanging around. Um, buddy, how about you just do your homework real quick? That would be good. Maybe we'll have him call a friend over since he wants to have so many friends. Oh, Ariel's grades are slipping too. She didn't do her homework either. I'm gonna call Cicero back over. Let's invite him back over. They seem to get along well. You can make a new friend out of him. Hello, Ariel. Oh, we got the promotion. He's been promoted to substitute teacher. And he came home with the flu. Those damn kids at that school. Oh, yeah, you're very proud of yourself. 
Oh, his mustache like disappeared. Oh, ooh, his, his lips coming through his mustache. Ooh, did you greet your friend? Hold on, come here. We need to joke. We need to chat. We need to try to uh, get this friend to uh, like us. Uh oh, he's headed right for our little magical spinning machine. Which I don't remember. I don't really remember how he got this. I know somebody gave it to him as a gift. Is this child hungry, sir? Do you want, do you want to just put her back? Can you not put her on the floor? Can you maybe not put her on the floor? Is it possible you could just not do that? Thanks. Oh, he's gonna... Is Julius very neat? <laughs> oh my gosh. Holy... This kid's... This kid's personality. Did we... Did we assess this child? I always forget to look at the personality. He's 100% neat. He only has two points for shy, two for lazy, two for serious, and three for grouchy. What the heck is this personality of this child? Oh, look at this family... Oh, he's sick. Buddy, I don't want you... You're gonna give this whole family sickness. Luckily, I don't have the mod that makes it super dangerous. I don't know. This, this, we'll have to see how this kid is as he grows. Can you chill out and just join watching the thing? Okay, two de two days left before Hal's birthday. I'm gonna I'm gonna do a couple things just to boost his aspiration. Although I mean, he's not gonna have his birthday. We're gonna have him go off to college, but still. Uh, also, Ariel's gonna be growing up very soon. I don't think we'll see her grow up this time. I'm gonna see if I can get Cicero to join us. Don't look at me, Cicero. Yeah, I'm talking about you, buddy. There we go. Come join us. Come play chess with us, Cicero. We'll be the best little chess buddies in this side of Veronaville. Oh, wait. Oh, she's going to help the baby with his birthday. Taking like 30 years per usual. What do you, like, enjoy, my friend? Oh, he likes science. We should get a little telescope out here. I feel like that would be good. Let me get a little telescope. We have such a- we have a big giant yard with all kinds of stuff to do. Here you go, kid. Just come stargaze. I think kids can stargaze just fine. Also, somebody's gotta do this homework here. Ariel, how about you do your homework? That's Julius. Do your homework. Okay, maybe you should just give up for a minute. Put the baby down. We'll try again later. Here, maybe do your homework. Did you get your- oh my gosh, she got herself trapped by the baby. Okay, I guess she's gonna try and age the baby up now? There we go, look at you. Okay, um... We definitely gotta change the baby's hair, because I don't think that's quite right. Here, you want to do me a favor, Desdemona? There we go. Oh my goodness. That's a face. That is- those is eyes. <laughs> those is some eyes. There we go. We got some little baby- baby pigtails. Them is- those eyes are- are gonna be interesting. Now who the heck is responsible for those? I guess- is it- is it Goneril's genes again? Cause like, let's see, what's her- she got like the pointy eyes. Her eyes really aren't that bad. They're just kind of- I mean, her makeup is helping her a lot right now. But I think the sh the the tilt of the eyes is her. And I guess maybe the rest is him. I'm not sure. These are some unique children. Which I don't really mind. Oh, thank you for feeding the child, uh, Desdemona. Also, uh, buddy. Oh, he wants to do all kinds of- Oh my gosh, he wants to have another baby. I don't know. I think we're gonna focus on taking care of this one first. We're gonna teach her to talk and stuff, but for now he needs to sleep. He's tired. These two are gonna get electrocuted out here. Oh, our fire's- I, I mean, our, yeah, our, our fire's on tree again. Our tree's on fire. Okay, they're having a fit. <laughs> oh, and it kind of just went away. <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh, you need to go to sleep, child. I'm gonna wrangle everybody into their proper beds. Okay, I think we're gonna say goodbye to Cicero for the night. Because everybody's going to bed, and I think you should too, friend. Oops, crap. Everybody abandoned the child. Wait. Don't- oh wait. Oh crap. I'm screwing everything up. Don't wait. I just woke up Desdemona. You know what, Desdemona? Wake up real quick. We need to put this baby in the crib. Oh, not the- not the- okay, these- these bedrooms are not designed optimally. They keep screwing each other up. Oh, okay, actually, the, um, season just changed over, just barely. So we're actually in the new season here. So that's going to be the, the end of our time. I'm going to have her go to sleep. We're going to 
put pretty much everybody to sleep here. But I am going to have our boy, Mr. Hal, run off to college. So come on, Hal. Okay. Once again, the, the, the wonderful routing of these bedrooms. Can we... <laughs> they just stop and look at it. Here, you go here. Go. Okay, wait. No, Hal, you need to leave. Okay, we're playing We're playing a puzzle game. Hal, leave. There we go. Okay, we've, we've sorted it out. Um, let me um, apply for scholarships. See if there's anything else. I think he might have already... I don't know if he already checked for them or not. Like last time. I don't think we, we would have. You do not qualify at this time. Okay. So we're gonna instead move, just move to college. It's midnight on a Thursday and we're just gonna hastily run off to college, apparently, while everybody's sleeping. Maybe, maybe this is a very Hal thing to do. Household, yes. Goodbye, Hal. It was fun while it lasted. Oh, I didn't know you were still awake, Julius. Okay. Julius is gonna take your place, Hal, as the as the uh, the mischievous one of the house. Although I guess Hal wasn't that mischievous most of the time. He's pretty chill. I think he gives off the air like he's supposed to be like the bad kid, but he's kind of just chill. Oh, who just who just tanked? Why did you just? T Some one of one of Julius's fears just like went off. I don't know what happened. Look at his aspirations and, like, failure. Okay. I guess that's that for this round. For, I mean, well, for this family. For round two. Buddy, how about you go to sleep? How about that? That's how we'll round this off. You go to bed. That's that. Okay. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Oh. Well. Cymbeline doesn't, doesn't want us to leave yet, but that's, you know what? You're gonna have to wait, girly. All right, bye. <laughs>